I'm Rowena, and if you're new to this channel, you might be wondering, what is channeling? And today I'm going to explain this. The best way to explain channeling is when somebody is bringing the whole of their awareness, the whole of their focus, into the present moment and they are opening up and expanding their state of consciousness, their mind, to be able to connect with spirit guides, angels, spiritual teachers, source consciousness. And essentially they are setting their awareness to occupy a smaller space than in everyday life. So usually in daily life, we're operating mostly in our ego mind. And what a channeler is doing is they're putting their own mind into a smaller space and allowing for the energy that they're connecting with, that consciousness, to flow through them. And so they're acting as a translator of these messages. So there's a small part of them that is still present and they're translating energy, frequency and thought form into words to best describe the teachings and the feelings that are coming through. The purpose of channeling is to bring through messages of guidance and of truth to help people remember the truth their truth and the truth that is within them and to help guide them within their pathway. Sometimes in life there's a lot of distractions going on and we might feel a little bit disconnected from ourselves and our paths and so what channeling does, even behind the words, it starts to energetically bring us back to feeling connected, connected to ourself, connected to truth and connected to the divine, which is essentially our expanded state of being. It's like coming home. And so there are a few different methods of channeling, and actually you might do it yourself without even knowing it. We do this all of the time. It's when we feel those moments of inspiration, when we have clarity drop in and we know what to do, when we get a really great idea. We get it as well when we get all fired up and we have awesome conversations with like-minded people or really good friends. And so some of the most well-known ways of channeling are through, there are conscious channels where people are still present themselves speaking but they're able to receive the information, the guidance, the messages, the intuitive knowing at the same time, and they're able to speak it through normally. So in their everyday life, they might speak a little faster, and then when they're channeling, they're still entering an open state of awareness, but they're still mostly here and present. Unconscious channeling is when somebody is really allowing themselves to really move out of the way so there's less of them there and more of the energy that they are translating, that they're connecting with, is uh, flowing through them, almost like the, the, they're using the words through the person that's coming through. Another way of channeling is through writing. And actually, a lot of authors are channeling when they're in the creative process. A lot of filmmakers are also in a channeling process when they're coming up with films. So many of the creative processes are actually when people are tapping into being fully present into a state that could be described as the flow state, which is the same state that one taps into to do channeling. So many books, many movies, many dance performances that you may have seen are actually created from a channeled state. And you might be doing it way more than you realize in your daily life. So that's a brief description on channeling and touching upon a few different ways that channeling can come through. If you enjoyed this video, you can click subscribe, the bell and share if this would help anyone that you know. I'd love to hear your comments. Perhaps now that I've explained this, you might remember sometimes when you feel you were channeling. I'd love to hear about them. Until next time, have a beautiful, beautiful day.